Welcome to Arthur International, the TV show for Arthur International magazine. I am your host, Viviana Puello, and I'm really happy today because we have an amazing, amazing episode for you. We're going to take you all the way to Italy, to Piedmont, and we're going to visit a very exclusive location. I'll tell you what, this is a location where if you want to go with cameras, it's almost impossible. We were able to do that. So Arthur International was there. We brought our cameras and we have an amazing documentary for you about Damanhur and the temples of humankind. To give you an idea of what you're about to see today, everything in the temples, from the floors, to the ceilings, to the walls, um, to the columns, and everything was handcrafted, hand-painted, hand-carved or sculpted by artists. So please do not miss this segment of our show today. And we also have two great interviews. One of them is to the cover of our spring issue, Helen Deseret, who takes us all the way to Africa and she brings us an, a beautiful documentary of the Samburu tribe you, that you see here. And we also have John Neiman, who's going to be speaking and presenting his work, What is Missing? He's a New York artist who has quite an amazing and uh, impact in the last art fair that we attended and actually his work what is missing is more of a conversation evoking and bringing awareness about those values that are missing in the American society today so let's get ready for this New York Damanhur was founded in 1975 by Oberto Araudi Oberto had the vision of a spiritual-based community that was going to live by ethical values. So he shared his vision with his friends and together they built Damanhur. They built it in secret. They built it during the night so that they wouldn't be making sounds. A few years later, uh, exactly about 10 years afterwards, when it was almost ready, it was discovered by somebody who worked with them and actually denounced to the authorities. And the Italian authorities broke into the location, trying to close the place because of a uh, lack of permits for building. And what happened and what the legend says is that when the authorities went inside Damanhur to knock it down, they were actually shocked and came back crying from the wonder and the beauty that they found inside. So Damanhur is now a beautiful location that has developed into a, a United Nations awarded eco-friendly community of about 600 members, beautifully decorated by mosaics, stained glass, paintings and sculptures, and even poetry. Sit back, relax, and be inspired. After the ancient Egyptian city of Damanhur, dedicated to Horus, the Egyptian god of the sky, war, and kinship. The Italian community of Damanhur is best known for its treasure, one-of-a-kind artworks buried deep in the heart of the mountain. Damanhur boasts a multi-level subterranean architectural masterpiece brimming with magnificent works of art that celebrate the divine nature of mankind and which are simply beyond compare. These monumental temples are built a hundred feet underground on five levels and span 300,000 cubic feet, narrating with their art the history of humanity across multiple planes of existence. Located 30 meters underground, the whole of Earth, with its impressive acoustic, is dedicated to Mother Nature and our planet, and consists of two circular rooms, the upper room 
and the lower room, creating the infinity sign. Dedicated to metals and time, the Hall of Metals is a circular hall that features eight precious glass windows decorated with Damanhurian symbols and four Tiffany glass doors. The symbolic theme of this temple is centered on humanity's fight against negative elements and action. The labyrinth is a vast hall dedicated to the union and harmony of all the divine forces of our planet. Walking along the labyrinth is like walking through the entire history of humanity, currently encompassing 35 windows, each evoking a divine force and portrayed to represent the receptacles of energy, beauty, and ideals from different civilizations throughout the centuries. Symbolically representing the heart of the temples of humankind, the Hall of Fairs showcases stunning artworks including figurative paintings, sculptures, and mosaics while the upper part of the walls and ceiling are fully covered in gold leaf. The Hall of Fairs encompasses a total of nine fairs, each containing alchemical liquids of different colors. True to its name, the Hall of Mirror is centered on diffusely reflected light coming from the Tiffany glass dome. Our Art to Heart interview to Helen de Serres is going to bring you all the way to Africa, to the Samburu Drive. This is one of the most beautiful photo documentaries that I've seen about the Samburus, and I am so happy and so honored to present Helen de Serres to you. I hope you enjoy this beautiful interview.
Our next interview is New York artist John Neiman. John Neiman is a writer, he is also a poet and a painter. His works have caused quite a commotion in the last art fair that we attended. And the reason is because they evoke deep feelings. They are evoking, provoking, and bringing awareness about those values that we are missing in our society today. And in not in, ne in a negative way, I think it's a beautiful reminder of the things that we're missing and that we should be looking for. So enjoy this interview.
I hope you enjoyed this journey with Arthur International Magazine. And please stay tuned for our next episode. We're going to go to a mysterious location all over again. And you're coming with us. Thank you. Stay inspired.